Welcome back. Problem 12-13. So statement is determine the maximum deflection of the beam and slope at A. EI is constant. So you can see this is the beam. There is a pin support at point A and a roller support at point B. And at a distance of A, we have a moment M0 which is count clockwise. And at this point, we have a moment that is counterclockwise. So due to this moment, the beam will bend like this. So we have to find the maximum deflection of the beam and slope at A. So let's start with the solution. So first step is that if we remove this pin support, so there will be a reaction force, which is RA. And if you remove this roller support, so there will be a reaction force RB. So we'll find this. So first step is sum of all moment about point A is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point A, one moment is this M0, which is clockwise, so it will be negative. The second moment is this one, which is counterclockwise, so it will be positive. And third moment will be RB into 3A, and that will be counterclockwise, so it will be positive. But their sum must be equal to zero about point A. So I will write minus M0, plus m0 plus 3 times rb is equal to 0. This will cancel with this, so we will get rb is equal to 0. It means there is no reaction force offered by this roller support. Now we will find ra by using this equilibrium condition and upward force is positive. So from here we will get ra plus rb which is 0 is equal to zero so it means that ra is also zero so at this condition both reaction so both supports do, do not offer the reaction forces now what we will do is that we will cut the beam over here and this will be your coordinate x1 so for x1 we will cut the beam and when you cut the beam it will be like this and at this point we will be having a reaction moment which is m x 1 this is point 0 so there, there is no other force or moment at when you cut the beam at section at a distance of x 1 so by applying equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point zero point o is 0 so we know that only force real moment is m x 1 and there is no other force so it will be also zero now we know that uh, equation of elastic curve can be found by by using this equation ei into dv1 square or dx1 square is equal to mx1 that is for coordinate x1 so integrate it integrate it once you will get ei into dv1 over dx1 will be equal to 0 so in m of x is equal to 0 so integral of this will be equal to c1 so from here you will get dv1 over dx1 will be equal to c1 over ei so this is your equation number one now again integrate Again, integrate equation 1. So when you integrate equation 1, you will get V1 is equal to C1x plus C2. And we will be having 1 over EI outside. And this is your equation number 2. Now, for coordinate x2, for x2, I will draw a line in between these two. So what will be the x2? So if you cut the beam over here and you take the x2 from this point, from this point. So if I draw the e-body diagram, so this is point where you have a moment m0 and this distance is a and x1 sta x2 start from here. So definitely you will be having a moment which is mx2 so we will find this so sum of all moment about point o is equal to zero taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point o one moment is this one which is clockwise thus the second moment is external moment 
reaction moment their sum must be equal to zero so m x2 will be equal to m naught now for x2 this equation will be e i into d square v2 over d x square is equal to m naught so if you integrate it integrate it you will get this d you will get dv2 over dx2 will be equal to m0 into x3 divided by ei plus c3 okay so this will be your equation number 3 again integrate it so if you integrate it again so you will get v2 will be equal to 1 over ei is taken out as common so it will be m naught x3 square over 2 plus c3 x2 plus c4 and this is your equation number 4 now c1 c2 c3 are unknown constant of integration so we can found them by using boundary conditions boundary conditions so first boundary condition is that at x1 is equal to 0 we have v1 is equal to 0 and you have to put in equation 2 so you can see here x1 is equal to 0 and there is a pin support so v1 will be also equal to 0 so you have to put in equation 2 because equation 2 is for deflection of for coordinate x1 so when you put x1 is equal to 0 this will be 0 and v1 is also 0 so c2 is equal to 0 so we will get c2 is equal to 0 the second boundary condition will be that at x2 will be equal to a by 2 we have dv2 over dx2 will be equal to 0 and you have to put it in equation number 3 equation 3 is about dv2 over dx2 put in 3 now you can see that due to this load the beam will bend the beam will deflect like this clear so you can see that at x2 is equal to a by 2 we have slope over here is equal to 0 because slope of this curve is a tangent line where this dv2 over dx2 will be equal to 0 because it is a straight line tangent to this curve is slope which is 0 so you have to put it in equation number 3 so equation number 3 is this one so from here 0 is equal to m0 into x3 is replaced x2 is replaced by a by 2 so a by 2 e i a by 2 e i plus c3 so c3 from here will be equal to minus m naught into a over 2 e i c3 will be okay so this is this this is the whole here we have also okay let me do it again you can just focus on this equation number three this will be zero i have written so m naught into a a by two so two e i plus c three over e i clear so you can take one over e i is common from it so we'll have m naught into a over two plus c three so e i will multiply with this term will be zero so we will left with c3 is equal to minus m naught into a divided by 2 so this is the value of c3 now third boundary condition is that we will use continuity equation continuity equation 
it means that at x1 is equal to a so here x2 is equal to 0 so we have dv1 over dx1 is equal to dv2 over dx2 so put put x1 is equal to a in equation number 2 equation number 1 and x2 is equal to 0 in equation number 3 and equate them equate them so equation number one is this one so dv1 over it will be equal to c1 over e1 because there is no x is equal to this x2 will be zero so we will left with c3 over ei so it means that c1 is equal to c3 and c3 is equal to minus m naught ei so i will write c1 is also equal to minus m naught into a divided by 2 the fourth one is that at x1 is equal to a and x2 is equal to 0 v1 is equal to v2 let me show you this condition you can see that at this point at this point at this point here x1 is equal to a and x2 is 0 so here we have deflection v1 is equal to v2 and dv1 over dx1 is equal to dv2 over dx2 so i hope it will be clear so now what you do is that you have to put put x1 is equal to a in equation number 2 and x2 is equal to 0 in equation 4 and equate them so this is the equation 1 so v1 is 1 over ei into c1 c1 is minus m naught a over 2 and x is a so it will be square plus c2 c2 is 0 so it will be 0 is equal to this equation 1 over ei into m naught x will be 0 so this term will be 0 this term will be 0 so we are left with c4 c4 so 1 over e 1 over e cancel so we will get c4 is equal to minus m naught a square over 2 now this we have c1 c2 c3 and c4 and we have been asked to find the maximum deflection so maximum deflection occur at this distance x2 is equal to a over 2 clear so we will use this equation number 4 this is equation number 4 for finding the maximum deflection so you have to put put the value of c3 put c3 and c4 in equation 4 so you will get v2 is equal to 1 over ei into m naught x2 cube 2 x2 square x2 square over 2 plus c3 c3 is minus m naught a x2 over 2 plus c4 c4 is minus m naught a square over 2 so this is equation of elastic curve for ordinary x2 now for x2 is equal to a by 2 we have v max so v max is equal to v2 at x2 is equal to a by 2 so replace x with a by 2 so it will be m naught a square over 8 minus m naught a square over 4 minus m naught a square over 2 a square over 2 so v max will be equal to 1 over ei 
and if you take the LCM it will be 8 so it will be m0 a square minus m0 a square and there will be 2 because 8 divided by 4 is 2 and minus 4 times m0 a square so after solving this you will get v max is equal to minus 5 times m0 a square over m0 a square over 8 ei so this is the maximum deflection of the beam due to above given loading now in second part we have been asked to find the slope at point a so slope at point a means that we will use at x1 we will find at x1 is equal to the slope at x1 is equal to zero slope is theta a which is dv1 over dx1 at x1 is equal to zero so we will use this equation equation number one which is c1 over ei c1 over ei so c1 is given as this one minus m naught a over 2 and there is ei so there is no x value involved so dv1 over dx1 at x1 is equal to 0 will be equal to theta a and that will be equal to minus m naught a over 2 e i and that is the answer of our second part and this was all about this uh, problem 12-13 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching